Chances are you expect to get a fair price when you go to the pharmacy, especially if you have insurance. But the I-Team found in many cases, having insurance may actually be costing you more. Investigative reporter Brian New tonight with the secret pricing of drug price middlemen. Four dollars and twenty-nine pennies. Along with filling up their prescriptions, customers come to the Rome Pharmacy for the advice. You may try like some Tylenol, over the counter Tylenol. If you have some of that at home, that may take care of it. The pain for a while. Pharmacist Carter High says his customers expect him to not only point them to the best remedy. But to the best price. That one's on sale, so why don't you get that one? And this is why he says it is so frustrating that legally he's not allowed to let them in on a secret about their insurance. Some days it makes me go home and not sleep very well because I know I could have saved them money. But what pharmacists say they can't tell their customers, the CBS 11i team can. The secret is that your own insurance may be overcharging you. Pharmacists say in many cases it is more expensive to buy a drug with your insurance. Than if you didn't have insurance at all. Here's a real example reported by a pharmacy association. A customer paid $125 for a common generic drug. That was his copay. But had he walked in and paid with no insurance, the cost would have been just $55, a difference of $65. This is what the industry calls a clawback. So who pockets this extra money? Pharmacy benefit managers, or PBMs, these are the middlemen between insurance providers and pharmacies. PBMs say they save consumers billions of dollars every year by negotiating with drug companies and pharmacies to lower the price of drugs. But pharmacists say PBMs only add to the cost of drugs, and told the I-team some PBMs even place gag orders on them, preventing pharmacists from telling their customers, like Janice Wilson. If they're being overcharged, that's bad. That's very bad. Uh, they should be able to tell the customer, you know, well, if you don't use your insurance, it's going to be less. Those kind of agreements should be illegal. That's exactly what attorney Bob Izzard thinks. It's really more of a you pay as opposed to a copay. Izzard has filed a class action lawsuit against PBMs, calling clawbacks nothing more than hidden bogus fees that leaves customers financially worse off than if he or she had no insurance at all. The lawsuit is seeking refunds for customers who paid far too much for prescription drugs. We describe it as basically a massive fraud. And it's affecting policyholders all over the country, and that's why we're trying to stop it. OptumRx, one of the PBMs listed in the lawsuit, told the I-Team, we believe these cases have no merit and should be dismissed by the courts, adding pharmacies should always charge the lowest amount. Texas lawmakers recently passed a bill outlawing PBM clawbacks. Last week, the governor signed it into law. But many pharmacists say they believe PBMs will find a way around the law and continue to overcharge until those who fill up prescriptions are free to speak up. Doesn't seem right, does it? No. The PBMs operate that way. So here's what you need to do the next time you pay for a prescription. Ask your pharmacist how much would the drug cost if you didn't use your insurance. If you ask the question, a pharmacist can tell you. Also on our website, we have listed 181 drugs that according to the lawsuit, PBMs often overcharge for. With the I-Team, Brian New, CBS 11 News.